Hi. <laughs> so I'm back again. And I was just looking through my diary and I've come to the realization that this week, Friday, it'll be three weeks until surgery. And it's 10 days until my pre-op diet is going to start. And I'm just like so totally blown away right now. Three weeks. Oh. I just can't believe it's like this time has finally come for me like I swear to God us lap banders and weight loss surgery patients are the most patient people in the world and it takes a lot to wait for this long I'm gonna show you my diary <laughs> This is how excessive my counting down has been. See, here, I've crossed off the day, every single day until surgery. I don't know if this is gonna focus. It's August, <laughs> see that date, the last circle there? That's the 20th <laughs> and this is how the red ones is when I've really started counting this. Yep. <laughs> and I also highlight this and write down the number of days to go. And see that blue box? That's surgery. Surgery! <laughs> oh! And there you go. I also have <laughs> counted down 24 days today. On Friday, it'll be three weeks. And today, I had a blood test. And I had four, four vials of blood taken from my arm. I have no idea what they're testing for. Obviously, something important. Dietitian. Dietitian, and then we count down. And next week, I start my pre op diet. And then, surgery! Yeah, I don't know why I'm showing you my diary. Um, okay, so I wanted to go through. I'm probably shaking the camera so much right now. Um, actually. Ugh. Um, I picked up my lay-by from Maya today um, for my pyjamas for surgery. I don't even know if I'm going to have a chance to put pyjamas on. That's a question for you guys. I know that they'll put me in a gown. Can I sit a little closer? Yes. I know that they'll put me in a gown to go into theatre, obviously. Um, but I'm hoping by like, cause I'm going in at 6.30 in the morning, apparently so far. And, um, I'm hoping that by the afternoon I'll be able to change into my own pajamas. Cause I've especially brought like nice ones so that I don't look gross. Um, yeah. I made an appointment to get my nails done for surgery getting exciting now okay I just wanted to go through just a few things that like I don't want to forget about being obese one of the main things is like eating to a point where I feel sick I mean I'm sure all of us know what that's like to get to this point we've had to eat a lot <laughs> and I constantly have this feeling that I'm not full and so I eat and eat and eat until I feel sick and um oh I ordered uh, a, like a takeaway thing of pasta tonight for dinner and it was a creamy carbonara chicken 
it was just drenched in white sauce and white sauce is so bad for you and I ate a whole large one all to myself and it makes me feel sleepy and sluggish and gross and so full I can't even move I just want to go to sleep and oh, I'm looking forward to not doing that anymore not excessively overeating like that and um, I want to remember how it feels to be like that full that you you know when it's almost like coming up um yeah that's a bit too much information isn't it um what else did I not want to forget about being this overweight leg chafing I can't wear like a skirt and walk for like five minutes or ten minutes because my legs start rubbing together and it's very 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 uncomfortable so I basically have to wear pants I have to plan to wear pants if I'm gonna be walking for more than five minutes so that's a pain in the butt um, and along with that comes you know I can't cross my legs like normal people that's a big thing for people who want to lose weight that they you know when they can cross their legs they're like yes I can cross my legs comfortably without feeling like I'm cutting off the circulation yep I get that as well I can't cross my legs I haven't crossed my legs for like three years <laughs> like properly I'm talking like ee, like a lady <laughs> um, it's like being overweight is like anyone who's never been overweight can't even imagine what it's like it's like constantly being uncomfortable in your own skin it's just like this horrible feeling of oh you can't even like walk past a chair you worry about like when you go and eat at a cafeteria you have to worry about your pathway to getting to a table because you can't fit between you know certain spaces you know because you're too big or even if you could fit there you feel like you can't because you feel like everyone's watching you oh and you're so big you're not gonna be able to fit through there you know I get that and you know I look forward to not feeling that way um, what else um, I don't want to forget how I feel about my boyfriend and the way that he sees my body um, I wish that he was more attracted to me and I feel like he isn't at the moment which is really difficult obviously to deal with I mean our relationships kind of rocky at the moment I'm going through a lot of stress um, with my body image issues and all of these changes that I'm facing ahead of me and um, he's working really hard at the moment he works nights so he's really busy and really tired all the time and we just we yell at each other a lot and I love him and he loves me but we're just in a bad place at the moment we're both in a bad place and I'm looking forward to that changing I'm hoping that when I start losing weight and feeling better about myself um, I watched a video by Faith KP and I favorited it because it really hit home it was like she could have been speaking for me it was her relationships changing after weight loss surgery and you know her relationship has improved now and I hope that the same thing happens for me and my boyfriend um yeah that's all I can really think of right now anyway so I'll make a video after I see the dietitian and um let you know what's going on